need to prove that the function sin hyperbolic z is analytic and we also have to find its derivative. Please note over here, the function fz equal to uxy plus iota vxy is analytic if first the partial derivatives of u and v are continuous functions. This you have to show. Second, function must satisfy the Cauchy-Raman equations, right? Then the next note is, if fz is u plus iota v is analytic, then function uxy and vxy, these are called the conjugate functions, right? Please note this. And now moving on to the solution. So first we need to show that the partial derivatives of the function are continuous, right? Okay. What is the function given to us? It is sine hyperbolic z. And fz can be written as u plus iota v. And this is equal to sine hyperbolic instead of z, right, x plus iota y. And then you have to open this according to the formula that is sine hyperbolic x cos of y plus iota cos hyperbolic x sine of y, right? And this is u plus iota v. When you compare the real and imaginary parts, you get u to be as sine hyperbolic x cos of y and v is equal to cos hyperbolic x sine of y. And we know that trigonometric functions sine, cosine, sine hyperbolic and cosine hyperbolic, such kinds of functions are always continuous functions, right? So... Let's check the CR equations now. So now we have to find the partial derivatives of u and v with respect to x and y. And then let's check that are these satisfying the CR equations or not. So curly u over curly x is cos hyperbolic x. What is u? It is sine hyperbolic x cos y. So to derivate this with respect to x, we get cos hyperbolic x cos of y. And then curly u over curly y, just derivating this with respect to y, we get sine hyperbolic x and the derivative of cos y with respect to y is negative sine y. So this is negative sine hyperbolic x sine y. And then Curly V over curly X. So the derivative for cos hyperbolic X will be sine hyperbolic X sine Y. And then curly V over curly Y. So we have to find out the derivative for the sine Y. So the cos hyperbolic X as it is. And derivative for sine Y with respect to Y is cos of Y. So if you notice that. Curly u over curly x should be equal to curly v over curly y. So curly u over curly x, this is equal to curly v over curly y. And the second one, curly u over curly y should be negative of curly v over curly x or vice versa. So curly u over curly y is negative of sine hyperbolic x sine y. And curly v over curly x is also the same but with positive sign. But if you put the values over here, you get that the second CR equation is also now satisfied, right? So hence the CR equations are satisfied. So what are the two conditions for the function to be analytic? First, the partial derivatives should be continuous. Now these are the partial derivatives of u and y, which are in terms of the sine and cosine, which means all these partial derivatives are continuous because all the sines and cosines functions are continuous, right? And second, CR equations are also satisfied, which means the function is now analytic. Since all these partial derivatives of u and v are continuous functions, second, CR equations are also satisfied, hence the function is analytic everywhere. 
and when the function becomes analytic it can be differentiated in the ordinary way for example if f of z is equal to z square then simply take the derivative as 2z and here the function is given to be as sine hyperbolic z so its derivative is equal to cos hyperbolic z simply but I am going to solve this derivative with respect to the formula. We know that f dash z is curly u over curly x plus iota curly v over curly x. So this is equal to cos hyperbolic x cos of y plus iota sine hyperbolic x sine of y. So this is equal to cos hyperbolic x plus iota y. So that is equal to cos hyperbolic. What is x plus iota y? This is z. Hence f dash z is equal to cos hyperbolic z. Thank you.